So which season of Game of Thrones was the best one so far? Go. Uh, I mean, I might be swayed just because you know I happened to see it, but I've been waiting to see this season the entire time because of a couple of the obvious iconic uh, scenes in it. Um, so. I, th this was not the best season for every character necessarily, but I would say that I probably enjoyed this season the most, if only because uh, I was watching it with people the entire time and then discussing it the next day on What the Flick. Yeah, I hear you on that. A correct answer is season one was the best season, uh -huh. but season three comes in second, very clearly second. <laughs> season two clearly. Arena agrees with you. Yeah, all right. Uh, God wait, bless. Why, why season one over season three? Okay. Uh, season one, we got introduced to it, and so we mm. got attached to the characters. We loved it. It, it. Season one took our cherry. Let's just be honest, okay? <laughs> and uh, for and some people, not consensually. Okay, but but, but they it liked happened. it in the end, <laughs> right? Well, mm, that sounds dangerous and terrible. <laughs> okay, um, and and then the Ned Stark uh, beheading was like yeah. the most dramatic thing that had ever happened in television up until that moment. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, and we didn't know fictional what was fictional and non-fictional. Right, the best thing ever. And, and we didn't know what was coming. Like by when, mm -hmm. by the time we got to the red wedding, we at least had some idea that anything could happen. Mm -hmm. When Ned Stark was originally killed, that's when we were introduced to the idea of Game of Fucking Thrones. Uh -huh. Game of like you don't. That's you, true. You see what I'm saying? You're not. You're. You misunderstood what was happening. Yeah. Okay. You got a taste of it in the first uh, episode when Bran gets pushed out of the tower. I mean, yeah. People didn't really expect that. I know. Uh, that would have appetized. That would have appetized. I, I would say the reason that I liked the third season and will probably like the fourth season even more is I like, you know, early on the first half or most of the first season, the, the characters, they're, they're together, the Stark family's together. But they're also like, they're young and idealistic and they're not, they haven't been exposed to the gritty reality of the world. But now we see like Arya was awesome the entire season. Tyrion is actually enmeshed in power, not just drinking and screwing people. Yeah, yeah. Like no. I think the characters are more interesting now that they're more developed. But they're also more dead. Uh, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> dead inside maybe. No, no, I know, like, like life is interesting for the Starks. Oh yeah, some of them Half are dead. of them are dead. Yeah, okay. but there's still tons, there's still five I think we counted, that's yeah. a lot of Starks. Okay, I hear you. Mm -hmm. And no, look, it's complicated and it's wonderful. Season three was terrific, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. I'm not taking anything away from season three. Season two, come to think of it, Blackwater, great, fine, right? Mm -hmm. The Blackwater Bay nonsense, right? Yeah. And there was a, and you know, the Daenerys Not line. much happened for Daenerys, really. A little bit, a little eh. bit, right? I mean, she went yeah. and they tried to kill her and her dragons ate everybody up. I mean, it was all right, yeah, but it was a fine. little meandering, right? Uh-huh. Um, so not, Tyrion, not enough things Tyrion happened had in some, season two. Tyrion had some good stuff, I think. Sure. Um, but the Stannis stuff wasn't all that super exciting. I mean, you had Renly and the Vagina Monster. That was pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, but I didn't, we, we didn't love the Vag Monster. So like I like the veg monster. Okay, yeah, all right, no, I hear you. But you might regret that decision, yeah. but okay. Uh, and I thought the stuff north of the wall was good in the second season. I think that it's easy to forget that that stuff was happening, but I thought that that was was pretty interesting. At the right. Time. Okay. So now it's decided. Season one, then season three, then, overruled. And then <laughs> yeah, me. oh yeah, it's you're done. <laughs> and and season uh, two significantly in the back. Mm. But don't get me wrong, season three. Fantastic! I think you're gonna like season four. Oh, shut up! <laughs> okay, I don't no, get it relax. for nearly a year. Yeah, you only have to wait. I know. And that, that you're like, oh, yeah. you're gonna like it. Oh. Yeah. When it when it comes to uh, to season four, winter's coming. Okay. And in uh. fact, winter will come and then pass before we have season four. Oh, really? That is dep well, yeah, it's gonna be. Okay, you've already said too much. Okay. Uh, I'm talking in our world. We have to wait until past winter oh, for April to roll around. I thought you were saying Game no, of Thrones, no, 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 winter no, 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 comes no, no. and goes. I'm like, what are you no, doing? No, no, shut no, up, no, shut no, up. No. Okay. I don't do spoilers. I, have I know, like a you've been a legend. Spoiler filter. Yes, you've been legend at, at non spoilers. So, yeah. uh, great job. All right. Season one also wins because no one will ever beat Ned Stark for coolest Hand of the King. Okay. Now, Pretty like awesome. Tywin Lannister is beats him in terms of being much more powerful, much mm -hmm. more savvy, and the actual king, yeah. et cetera, right? But, like, when I think Hand of the King, mm. I think Ned motherfucking Stark. Because you don't just respect power. You, you respect power, but adjudicated and managed by honor. And loyalty. Exactly. Like, loyalty. that Hand of the King had, was there to serve the goddamn king. Yeah, okay. even if the king didn't necessarily deserve it. Yeah, with strength and honor. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, that's why season one wins as well.